Hi, this is Danielle Zani here. Don't want to say hi and everything. Well, um, here's my little kitty cat. And kitty cat. Um, well, basically, what I'm actually doing a video, a vlog on is what's actually recently happened with me um, uh, today. Um, just quite a, you know, traumatizing experience. Um, what actually happened was, um, um, I was, I just arrived back from, uh, from town and all that. Uh, whatever you have to do today. Uh, besides a, um, a gender discriminative incident um, earlier on in the day, um, I can't really elaborate on that. Um, um, but um, uh, if you send me a private, I will explain what actually happened there. But um, I'm just wondering if it is related, but I don't really think so. So on when I arrived back home, um, right back home, I uh, bumped into my neighbour um, because I was going to ask when is the next residential meeting for the, meeting for the, the flat, people living in the flat here. Yeah. And um, it could be a bit weird. And um, so, um, and then we went inside, and I was talking. About, we were just talking about our kitty cats, and how my kitty cat's doing, and then her cats. Uh, she's actually got a little kitten. She's just have two cats. Um, but um, well, that's actually while we were talking about our cats. Um, I received um, a buzz on my um, intercom system. Uh, I answered, and with some bloke I don't even know, and um, I said, uh, "What you want?" And the person said, "He wants to come in." And I don't know this person, and I said, "What you want? Who are you?" Um, and then he went on saying, well, I'm some, some sort of security agent. And we'll talk about uh, your recent video you uploaded on YouTube about um, uh, UFOs, which was actually was my response to Bionic Dance. Okay? Uh, basically trying to you know, give what evidence I have to prove my, uh, my point on the existence of extraterrestrials and um, UFOs and flying saucers and all that, which um, is very much a taboo subject um, because, um, um, as, 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 as you know, I was doing an astrobiology course. I've actually more or less finished it, done the quiz and all that, and, um, and I was quite, um, uh, it was quite a good course, actually, good lecture. I wasn't uh, too impressed about um, the, the topic around extraterrestrial intelligences and communication. It was a little bit, you know, outdated in a sense. And um, as usual, um, they always say there's no evidence. Um, where implants is, uh, I personally feel, is pretty good evidence. Um, um, we because you know photos and videos they can be hoaxed as you know really and um, to be honest honestly speaking my videos and photos aren't hoaxes and but to try and explain that to um, a lot of people uh, the trust is not that well um, you, know, you know people really know me would actually know um, I even had my cousins friends and things like that who had exper uh, witnessed their uh, experiences my cat had just gone off experiences um, with this sort of thing and um, 
I just thought it was damn weird, um, strange because um, I was just basically um, providing my personal evidence to prove my point that I'm not a, a UFO believer, but um, an extraterrestrial experiences and uh, experiencer, and I know. Um, that extraterrestrials exist and they are visiting this planet. Uh, uh, they're living there for a long time. Uh, reason being is because they um, were involved in the, um, as you can say, design of life, you know, and um, which is actually part of the, just call it up, um, which is actually expressed in the. Um, uh, thing but it was an astrobiological uh, can't remember exactly what it was called again uh, documents um, uh, something paradox I think uh, um, trying to find it then that's what I wanted probably something about um, Uh, the Fermi paradox yeah, is that um, so if yeah, they're out there, why don't we see them? Um, well, I've seen them. Some people have, some people haven't, and um, the, it, it varies from the the point of evidence, what people consider as evidence. Um, you know, there's enough credible people, like people who are pilots and all that. That is. Pretty good darn um, uh, personal experience evidence, and if they've provided photo footage and um, video footage, it actually increases the credibility. So the points are is they already are here, they can't get here because it's too far. I disagree with that one. Civilizations always destroy themselves. Well, some of them, uh, most of them have managed to. And overcome this problem. Um, they watch our wars and we terrify them. That is a very strong point. Um, we are being denied entry into the Galactic Hub because we have much to learn. That is a good point. And we are Zoom, which is a good point, which means basically more likely, I would say, a laboratory in a sense. Um, <coughs> So you got those points, and um, I was actually, um, this person was on the intercom, my cat is meowing, um, I'll have to finish the video and see to the cat, because I think the cat wants some food. <laughs> so, what I, um, um, so basically, um, now the, the, the person was on the intercom, and um, I just didn't want to give the person too much details. Um, and I said, I don't know you. Um, go away, please. And um, I turned the intercom off. And um, when I did that, this person started um, pushing and shoving on, on the, the, the door to the communal area of the, the flat complex. And me and my neighbor were just like, you know, looking at each other like, okay, what is happening? What is this? And we started to get a bit scared and nervous and all that. And, um, and eventually, um, this person started, um, uh, banging on the, uh, on the door and, and trying to break in. And, um, we were like, okay, um, sorry, I'll, I'll talk to you later. You just, I say, go, just go to your flat, I go to my flat. And I just sat in my flat and I was just waiting for if uh, this person's going to smash one of my windows. I actually um, decided to get my hammer ready, um, you know, for self defense. Um, if the person would smash the window and start climbing in um, to my flat, I would actually smash them over the head. Because, um, I'm, you know, self defense, because I just don't know what to do, you know. Um, um, I, know it's, I know I'm not really a violent person, but the thing is, I've sometimes 
in a situation like that, you know, you might have to defend yourself, um, because he's, he's, he's uh, going into your property or your real, your space without the, out, and you don't know the person. It's like, you know, um, what he's going to do is he's going to, could actually, he could actually hurt and harm me or even assassinate me or kill me or something like that. And, um, I don't like living like this, and, um, I'm pretty much nervous. And, um, I've also been pretty much down lately because, um, I have a friend, um, who's an alcoholic, uh, she comes often to my place, and, um, I, I, she comes and has a shoulder to cry on and all of that, but, um, a while ago, um, oh, actually not a while ago, uh, on Sunday, um, she had a friend over, and, um, you know, I used my iPod to block up the verbal abuse I did at the club by ignorant people um, about my gender issues and all that and um, um and my friend knows this um, and um, apparently her friend uh, stole my iPod out of my phone and um, it was pretty upsetting um, you know especially when you gain trust into something, someone, and you help them uh, in some way or another, and then they, their friends, they don't keep an eye on their friends, uh, uh, or to gain respect uh, and, and about, you know, and they have a genuine friendship, and I've even given a two of my artworks as gifts. So, um, which is a bit of a risk factor for me. Um, and um, because of that, uh, I don't trust her anymore. So that's all I've got to say at the moment. And um, um, I'm just hope this is nothing more. And, um, just you know, I was actually wanting to move because uh, quite often people bang on my windows um, and give me verbal abuse, intimidation, things like. Basically, what I experienced what, when I was in TV night, and that was all in cyberspace. But, um, um, it seems to be now that I'm no longer on TV night, it seems to be happening in real life now. It's like, it just doesn't stop, and um, it's not really helping me with my well-being and all that, and because of all these things happening, which is why I'm, you know, not really interacting much online, and, um, Stuff like that, um, you know, sort of things, and especially when uh, you know, um, I try to get back on D you know, to get my um, intergender group going and all that, and, and even friends posting on my behalf, they're getting banned and all that. It's just, um, you know, um, not right. And, uh, and one of the D V you know, admin was an ex um, internet troll, and all this wasn't the really not a nice troll, it's quite a, uh, a, a troll in the sense that uh, discriminates uh, intersex people. So at the moment I'm going to finish off. And, uh, I'll go see to my cat, but it's meowing.